Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. We are going to activate. Uh, I have multiple news to give you. So first of all, I'm glad that you like the videos I'm doing where I'm giving you some tips because to me it is not really natural. I don't really understand why I should give tips to people. Well, it's not my work, right? I'm not trying to be an influencer. I'm trying to be an athlete sharing his work. But I figured out that if I'm not going to do it, nobody's going to do it. And you're going to listen to uh, uninformed people that think that they know everything. So um, I will do a series of video where I will debunk uh, most of the belief uh, of calisthenics. So the last one, I posted it today. Uh, it was a uh, perfect form. Why doing perfect form since the beginning is not the way to go. And even when you have a higher level, why is it not um, the best thing to do? So I'm going to do another one maybe about gymnasts. Maybe another one about uh, core or something like that. Some topics are very small, so I'll regroup them in multiple videos. But yeah, I think it's funny, it's not taking me too much energy, you like it and it allow people to not get lost too much in, uh, in their progression, etc. So, let's say it's my good action, because I, I remind you that I'm not getting paid for that. So let's say it's going to be my good action of uh, for my karma, you see what I mean? So that's cool. So that was one thing I wanted to say, second thing I wanted to say is that um, I'm giving up SAT for real. I'm giving up. This is not a movement that I appreciate anymore. I wanted to unlock it and I didn't lock it. Not the perfect form, not the longest holds, but I did do what I wanted to do with it. Now I want to do something else. My goal is to unlock uh, long term, it's going to be Victorian Cross on Rings, but short term, it's going to work on my um, No Folds Grip pull up and manage to master my no fault grip gain uh, well. That would be cool to be able to do like 20 no fault grip pull up with the same line, uh, no bounce, just um, pure strength. I always find it very impressive, the no fault grip pull ups uh, things. So we are going to work on that from now on. I've taken a lot of rest because of my shoulder and uh, because of other things. I'm not really, in shape, let's say, but we're going to, to get back to it and we're going to do the work and we're going to um, get back to it, okay? So, let's see, a little front lever touch. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not aware if uh, you're going to see or not, I hope so, but uh, I don't decide. I need choke because this bar is very slippery, I need choke. Okay. <laughs> when I say I'm not getting paid by doing videos is that I'm not getting paid any significant amount of money I'm, and I'm not even receiving the money yet. So don't think I'm doing that for the money. <laughs> I've seen a lot of messages like saying, yeah, we get it, you want money and shit. <laughs> Telling that to me is Maybe the most insane thing you could tell me, I think. So I had multiple injuries in the past six, seven days. I had my wrist that hurted a lot from the Pelican. If you remember my last Pelican training, they really inflamed my pronators, even though we really warmed up and we warmed up very much, if you remember, but still the, the pressure was too much for my wrist. So here you see I can do some push-ups, but it's still very much hurt. I cannot fully lock out. My wrist hurts very much, so I'll have to work on that and work on my flexibility. So it's very hard for me to put false grip. It's very hard for me to bend my wrist in general. That's why I want to work on my no falls also, because False grip hurts. And yeah, so I guess we're going to start. We're going to do some stuff. I discovered a very cool thing. Um, I'll show you that. It's to work my reverse cross. Uh, I think 
it's very cute. So maybe I'm going to show you that right now, actually. I don't know. Okay, let's see. So then you sit over there, up, take the rings, and you can do up, some reverse cross work. Well, this, this elastic is not pulling a lot, but I don't know, I, I just figured out that it was cute and cool. Oh. Anyway, let's do more intense stuff now. Sometimes it's good to not train with music. Sometimes it's good to just feel like the moments without any music. I don't know how to explain, but uh, yeah, sometimes music condition you to a certain emotion and you don't necessarily want to feel this emotion, right? So yeah, let's, uh, let's do a set without music, I think. Okay, I think that's it. We're going to do maybe a set of reverse cross uh, pulls, and that will be it, I think. Whew. So, this, doing this, will not give you reverse cross. It's conditioning, okay? To prepare the muscle, the tendons, and the nervous system to, do, to learn the movement. But it will not give you the movement if you only do that. As much as if you're doing that, it will not give you planche, okay? Wake up, guys. Please, oh my gosh. Okay, let's stop thinking about that. That's enough, I think, for today. Uh, we will continue this uh, this afternoon. But now we're going to eat something. Oh, fuck. Damn. Okay, that was good. <sighs> so, 
So as usual, we have one banana, one apple, two eggs, three rice cakes, and uh, an apple juice. So yeah, that should be enough. Um, even though I'm starting to get hungry these days, like I, I really need to eat more than uh, in summer. But still, uh, I'll try to not uh, eat between this and my uh, lunch of tonight. So let's reply to the students, let's eat, let's chillax, and then we are going to train. I'll take you with me like usual. Okay, guys, so I don't know if it's going to be very interesting, but I'm going to show you what I put in my bag when I'm going to the gym because it's time. So... Uh... A lot of you ask me, uh, yeah, what do you put in your bag? Uh, what is uh, the essentials uh, in order to train? So a little uh, tape like that, that I use to protect my wrist, very important. We have a hand gripper. We never know also if we need to do a very specific uh, warm up. We have a massage ball. We never know in case uh, some part of my body hurts. We are going to put the little ankle weights Pretty cool. The tripod, which is ultra important. If I don't have the tripod, there is no videos. So important. We're going to put uh, the microphone after. We're going to use a short. You don't have to use a short. You can use a, a normal jogging. You can use whatever you want. Me, I like to not feel anything on my legs when I'm planching or doing a front lever or anything. It's not very aesthetic, but at least I feel good when I'm doing the performance. Yeah, I need to change the short there. We're going to put elastic bands. So I like to have a lot of elastic bands. They're, all of them are not necessary, but uh, they are my little tennis bands and I love them. Like uh, I use them during my warm up, I use them after my workout to stretch. I use them in order to do reinforcement specific and stuff, so they are very useful and I really much like them, so let's put them all up. We have the rings where I put some wrap in order for it to be more uh, comfortable when I'm going to practice, so it's very cool. There, we need the microphone, ultra important. And uh, yeah, I need this bag because I need to give it back to a friend. Up, 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 up. So today, what I want to do, what I think is going to happen is that we're going to do a first try of Floor Carmona because that's the goal, right? And in order to know how far we are from the goal, we will need to try at one point. So I decided that this point was today. My two arms feel pretty good. My shoulders feel nice. Some little pain, but should not be too uh, impacting on the workout. If I warm up correctly, not correctly, but specifically, right? If there is, if I die tomorrow, right? And there is one word you need to remember of me, it's specificity, okay? Um, then we're going to add the, uh, the, the wallet and stuff. We're going to dress and we're going to go, guys. So uh, it's cold outside. I don't think I'll be talking uh, during the way to go to the gym. So I'll find you guys. I'll find you at the gym, okay? I'm just going to show you how pretty it is outside. Wow, we don't see we don't see much, but uh, I'm very lucky. I'm a very lucky guy. I have a, I have a very beautiful view. What do you think of that? Let's go. So there we are. It is time to start the workout. So we have big goals, and we have very specific goals. So we're going to try to not freak this up. Even if I don't manage to do the movement, it's fine. I want to know how far I am from this goal. So we're going to take our time, we're going to see the movement in our head, and we're going to do the movement. What do you think of that? Okay. Whew. Ay, the wrist hurts. 
so my wrist hurt way less than uh, than before so that's cool yeah I, I think I did not do a vlog uh, talking about my wrist after the pelican but basically I was not able to do a, a push-up or nothing so that was a, a big problem actually Oh, okay, that's cool. Well, let's see the second set. Let's see two good presses in a row. Um, I off cam I did some wrist uh, mobility stuff. It's not really mobility. Livan is going to tell me no mobility is not that, but at least I feel more fluid, uh, more um, able to bend them in a good position. So let's see two good presses with a good form. I would consider that good form, even though I did not really see what's up. <sighs> Let's see some front lever. So I said it, but I'm going to repeat it. I want to exceed in no false front lever. It is just my new goal. So I have two new goals. I have Carmona on every support, so I need to do Carmona on a straight bar, this one. I need to do Carmona finger, Carmona palm, Carmona on rings, low rings and high rings. So I have many goals, that's cool. Find yourself a goal that will excite you, not a goal that will bore you. Please. Because uh, Having for a goal, yeah, I'm going to do a 666, 888, I'm going to do a 555. That's the least exciting goal ever. If like I <clears throat> woke up in the morning and I'm telling myself, yeah, my goal of today is going to do a 666, I would probably myself or something like that because uh, it's maybe the least original, exciting, boring as freak. It's not... Uh, and people get stuck in their mind. They're like, uh, yeah, I need to, I need to do that. There is nothing else in this sport but that. And so they became insane. They're alienated. I don't know if it's a word in English, but like they, whatever. Have some originality and try to have fun in this sport, please guys. I beg you. So what do we want to warm up correctly? We want to warm up our multis. We want to warm up our tendons. So we're going to do some, the goal, the goal, if you don't know what's Carmona, is to do back lever to multis to press to inverted. On the floor, it would be elevated to press. It's not difficult, but, uh, I never really did it. So I uh, maybe have this mental luck and that's why also I want to do it today because I feel pretty good. And if I break this mental lock, then the rest is going to be easy, okay? So there we are. We're going to do couples of uh, Maltese elevation with the heavy elastic band and then we'll see what's up. Okay, let's see a specific stretching for uh, Maltese. So I said it and I'm going to repeat it. Doing this is not going to give you Maltese. It's going to maybe stretch for it, maybe to prepare your body for it, but only doing this will never give you Maltese. It's the same for the thing I've done this morning. It's a preparation, it's a conditioning. It could be more intense. I'm, this elastic is not really powerful, but still, it's a good uh, warm up.
Okay, okay. I'm not going to lie, I am kind of stressing for, uh, for the multi thing. But it's good. If I'm stressing, it means that I really want to do it correctly. If I was not stressing, then I would lose strength. Stre stress is, giving, uh, is creating a lot of uh, strength. It's creating a lot of hormones that allows you to use strengths that you normally don't use. Okay, well, that's about that. Let's try to do some, maybe, I don't know, maybe a supinated planche on the bar, something like that to really uh, finish with the biceps. And then uh, maybe one or two elevation with elastics and then we'll start, huh? I guess. In order to give you a little feedback just after the first try, it does feel very good. It's not hard, it's very fast. I'm not used anymore to combos that last like two seconds. It's just pushing and pressing. So it felt very nice. I'm very, very happy. I'm going to maybe two, three tries of it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm very surprised, honestly. <laughs> Okay, that second try was definitely a bit more freaky. Uh, the press was okay, but at the end, uh, I, I took too wide, so my head was touching the ground actually. So yeah, but I still managed to save the combo, so it's cool, but it's not clean. It's like a bit wobbly and shit. My goal is for it to be like uh, perfect and without anything to say about it. See what I mean? So. I don't know if I'm going to do uh, one last try. Most likely yes, and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to charge my phone two minutes and, uh, and we'll be back in two minutes. <sighs> Yes. Yes. Okay, this try is going to be the best uh, out of the three. It's not too wide, not too retracted, not too... The press is uh, fine, even if it hurts at the end because of my uh, Pelican stuff. I'm going to do a try of finger elevation. It might not be the best idea right now, but I want to try, so let's see. You have it.
That was a good workout. It's the first time ever in my life that I managed to do multi elevation to press. I'm not sad about it. It's very, very cool. Take care of you guys. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, etc. If you want me to continue what I'm doing. Whew. Take care of you. Love you. See you soon.